Uh, today we're going to ride around Lake Charles, and uh, it's actually going to be the next couple of days because there's a hurricane coming. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go look for some uh, Lake Charles native celebrity graves and uh, a little bit of Lake Charles history. So let's go check it out. This is the Calcasieu Parish 14th Judicial Courthouse in Lake Charles. And here on November 28th, 1942, is where the only woman ever executed in the Louisiana electric chair was put to death, Miss Tony Jo Henry. Our first stop today is going to take us to Orange Grove Cemetery in Lake Charles. All right, our first stop is easily Lake Charles's most infamous resident. This is Tony Joe Henry. Tony Joe was the only female executed in the electric chair in Louisiana history on November 28, 1942 at the Lake Charles Courthouse. Her husband was in Huntsville's penitentiary, Huntsville prison in, in Texas. And uh, she wanted to bust him out, of course. His name was Cowboy Henry. And she wanted to bust him out. So her and Archie Burke, a friend of hers, were looking to get a ride. And they got a ride from a guy named Joseph Calloway. And uh, they took him out south of Lake Charles. And he said she shot him. She said he shot him one way or another. They killed him and robbed him of his clothes and his car. And it took three trials before it finally stuck. But she was executed November 28, 1942. She was only 26 years old. Our next stop is Matilda Gettings Gray. And this is hers. She was a fortune heiress. She had two brothers, but she was the only one that was not married when her father passed. So she inherited pretty much everything. And at one time they had the biggest oil reserves in the world, most productive anyway. And she became really famous because she found a love for Fabergé items in 1933, especially Fabergé eggs, and started a massive collection. And uh, the collection grew so big that um, after she passed, there's a museum or two that has her Fabergé stuff in it still to this day. And even the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, has visited her collection of Fabergé items. down the road from Orange Grove and across the street from the Calcasieu River is the home of Matilda Gray, Matilda Gettings Gray. Really beautiful estate. This great lived. Just a little detour. Is this what is now a vacant lot? It's empty. But this was once the location of Gold Band Records. It was founded by Eddie Schuler. And Dolly Parton recorded her first album here. Joel Sanye, Freddie Fender, a lot of hits came out of here, including, um, I think it was Phil Phillips did The Sea of Love. It was all recorded here. It's crazy, you know, uh, 
a lot of times people will grow up in a town and see the same things every day and never realize the history in their backyard. That's what's left of Gold Band Records, which, by the way, was the longest running independent studio in American history. All right, now we're in Highland or Highland Emory Park in South Lake Charles. And I'm going to show you a Grammy Award winning Zydeco Hall of Famer, Mr. Buzu Chavis. I don't care what nobody say. I'm the daddy. <laughs> That's why I wanted to take you by and show you the old gold band location because Boozer used to record there too. Our next stop is Consolata Cemetery. This is the grave of Sam Houston Jones and his wife. And he was the governor of Louisiana from 1940 to 1944. He was born in Maryville. But after World War I, he ended up at LSU, where he became an attorney and later a politician, and came here and was governor. Sam Houston Jones State Park, just north of Lake Charles, is named after him. This is the governor's mansion where Sam Houston Jones lived from 1940 to 1944 when he was governor. It became many different things over the years. It was once a place called Scarlet O's, uh, it was a nightclub. And Steve Ray Vaughan played here once when it was a nightclub. Then it became D'Agostino's. There's been many, many bands and, and folks in and out of here for different reasons, but that is the governor's mansion. For those of you from Lake Charles, this next one you're probably going to recognize. All right, this is the grave of John Jacob Ryan, who we here in Lake Charles know as the father of Lake Charles. Ryan Street's named after him. Through all of the quarantine and the protests and the riots and all that, it just says there, love one another as I love you. All right, our next stop is WWF and WCW wrestling superstar Michael Lynn Durham, better known as Public Enemy and Kelly Grunt. Johnny Grunge. Johnny Grunge was a friend of Chris Benoit. In fact, he was a neighbor. And he helped him. He helped Chris Benoit through a tough time when they lost Eddie Guerrero, and they became really good friends. And he died only a year, I think maybe a year, before Chris Benoit. Well, you know that story. <laughs> he was one half of a wrestling uh, tag team. They were known as Public Enemy. Off the wall. A tag team that loves to use the table as they bring out their table once again. They are former world tag team. And he died of complications from sleep apnea. 2006. He's actually just down the road from Lake Charles, not far in the neighboring town known as Sulphur. He's at Mimosa Pines Cemetery in Sulphur, Louisiana. All right, our last stop is also at Highland in South Lake Charles. And this guy was an actor and a model and a rodeo performer. His name is Lawrence Gilbert McLaren Jr. or Wayne McLaren. But you better know him as... This is 
Marlborough country. The Marlboro Man. It's a sad story that he contracted lung cancer after 30 years of smoking and being the Marlboro Man. He uh, he contracted lung cancer and then helped start the truth movement where he did anti-smoking campaigns. And his brother helped him with that as well, even shooting Wayne in the bed um, when he was, you know, really ill, and Wayne would invite him in to, to shoot footage of him that way, because he really didn't want people to start smoking. In fact, his last words to his mother were, um, take care of the children, and tobacco will kill you. I am living proof of that. He's next to his mother and father. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it lets me know that you want to see more. And um, I appreciate you guys hanging out.